Welcome back everyone. Today we're in the Giants Editor and I'm Jewel and as you can see we're working on the BGA area again. We still have more to add so let's go ahead and get into it. I appreciate all the new subscribers. Welcome to the channel. Go ahead and smash that like button if you like these videos and please subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, I have a bunch of tutorials if you want to learn stuff on map making. So go ahead and check those playlists out on my channel. But we're going to do today a charging station. And in Elm Creek they put it right here. And I'm going to do the same. I'm not worried about having it in a different place. Uh, I think they it looks okay. So we're going to go ahead and do that. I haven't painted the ground situated it the way I'm going to do it. But if you want to learn how to get the BGA building thing in here. Or these mixers in here. Or the lights and the weighing station you know the whole thing obviously uh, and this little biogas uh, station then I have other video tutorial uh, tutorials on that so check out the playlist before this video but we're gonna go ahead and do the one for the charging station so and there's also a hall a BGA hall which we probably gonna add we'll go ahead and add it and we don't have to put it exactly where they had it if we don't want to. It just depends on what I decide. So we're going to come on in. And we're going to put it right here. So, so we're going to go ahead to File. Okay. If you're new to map making and you don't know how to do any of this or get any of this, uh, you're going to have to look at the other tutorials. You're going to have to look at the beginning tutorials, how to get the mod map and so on. I have that on my channel. Please check it out. But in this case, we're going to go to File, Import. You're going to click on... D drive for me could be C drive for you if your game main game farm sim is on C drive for you then you might go to program files 86 then you would go to whoops back it up you you would might go to steam if you got it on steam but I don't know where you have yours so you'd have to find out then nah click back you got to go to steam apps common and then here's the farm sim 19 one or you if you have 22 there you can click on that then data and so on and so forth i'm going to click on d drop steam library steam maps common farming sim 22 i'm double clicking all these data double click and in this case we're going to go to placeables double click a lizard double click and we're going to go to charging station double click we're going to click on it and you notice it doesn't show any more files but there are more files if we go through the file explorer right now we're going to import an i3d so that's all it's showing because that's all you're allowed to put in here you're not allowed to put an xml file in here so hit open it's going to drop it to the bottom of your list once it highlights and pops at your bottom of the list hit Control b as in boy and then point your cursor where you want it to go hold that hold control b down left mouse click left mouse click and then go look and see do you like that spot what do you need to do do you need to move it do, what do you got to do we're going to center it do we need to turn it what do we need to do if you want to turn it you click on this little spot here and you can turn it and you can get in closer so you can try to see what looks uh like straight you just go on and move yourself around till you decide this looks good. So if you need to twist it a little more, you can. So we're going to call that probably good. I don't know. It looks crooked to me. We're going to do it a little more this way. Something like that. It really don't matter. Just pick where you want. Make sure the bottom is on the ground properly. And that it's not floating. And that it's not too far under the ground. Okay. Now. Once you do that. we want to Before we do anything else. We're just going to leave that highlighted. Okay. We're going to click. To go to the file explorer area. We're going to go to D drive. In my case. Yours might be the other way I showed you. D drive. Steam library. Steam app. Double clicking. Common. Double clicking. Farm Sim 22, data double clicking, placeables, lizard double clicking, charging station double clicking. Now you can see this i3D, that's what we just brought in. It didn't show none of this while ago, okay, because it's not an i3D. 
that we come in here that we just want I'm gonna show you the XML but then we gotta go get the actual um, store I mean not the store item the placeable uh, XML opened this is what it looks like it's gonna have the name the image it's gonna have the i3d we just put in our map but we're, they're not gonna call our i3d we have in our map they're gonna call this one which is in the in the in main game folder in the DRI. they're gonna call that one they're not gonna call the thing we just pr brought into our map and I'll show you why at the end of this but we're gonna close this I just want to show you what it looked like it's got all this information whatever that is that's what it tells it what to do okay and we're gonna go back to the file explorer okay we're gonna click back to data and the list okay so basically or if you're confused just go d uh, back through d steam library steam apps double click common double click farm sim 22 double click data double click placeables double click no not placeables uh, maps double click map us double click and go to placeables dot uh, xml it doesn't say dot but i always say that and edit with notepad plus plus and you'll come in here and find this line here it says charging station we're going to go to the end of the line left click hold it hold down left mouse button drag it over make sure you get all of it and you're only on that one line let go of the left mouse button right click on it the highlighted area and hit copy and then click off of it and close this we're going to come back to here but since i want to show you how to get there we'll go back to uh documents which is where my map's going to be that i'm working on my games double click farm sim 22 double click mods double click the map name you're working on and then you're going to go into the xml folder and then to your placeables if yours does not look like that and it looks something like this then you're going to go to maps map us and then you'll find your placeables wherever your placeables xml folder is that's where you're going to go okay it doesn't have to be the same spot as mine all right we're going to go in here we're going to go there and edit with notepad plus plus we're going to come in here we're going to ignore everything below uh this weighing station and we're, we're not wanting to put it in between any of that stuff or even at the bottom of our list because we i want to keep it uh, up at the top okay i want to keep the short lines up here we're going to click to the end of this line here okay and we're going to hit enter it's going to knock that down and that's right because we want the garage contractor thing to stay where it should between this and this okay so we don't want to get in between that okay we want to be above it i'm going to right click here and click paste we're going to put our cursor at the at front of this placeable line and we'll just space bar it over to there and then we can space click this in front of the file name and space bar that over make it a little organized and then if we could pull this position back by backspacing like so it really doesn't matter or if you really wanted to make it more organized you could click up here and push all you know do each one of these over to line up with the this one and then start from there but it really doesn't matter it's up to you it's just to, to make it more organized looking you don't have to move any of that you could have just left it exactly the way it was but now we have our line so all we need is our numbers and what you say what do you need numbers what numbers these numbers it says position but in the giants editor it's called translation so we're going to click back on our uh, giants editor and make sure you got your whole thing highlighted which is your charging station the whole parent this is called the parent if you click this little plus all these are the children so you're going to close it and then only click that one then you're going to come over here in the attributes box left click at the end of the numbers in the translate x box and you're going to hit shift control c as in cat you're going to come on down to the notepad plus plus again click back on it at the bottom of the taskbar hopefully you put it there it makes it easier okay then you're going to left click right at the uh, end of these numbers here or at the beginning right behind the quotation mark okay you're going to move it over to the end of the numbers in between the quotation marks right click in the middle where the highlighted spot is and click paste that's going to paste in your numbers now you're going to go back to giant's editor 
going to click in the rotate X box. box. Now you're going to go ahead and click at the end of the rotate X numbers. And you're going to hit shift control C as in cat. And then you're going to go to notepad plus plus. You're going to make sure you're on the charging station line uh, again. And go at the in between the quotation marks. Left click. Hold it down. Let go of left mouse button at the end of it. Right between the quotation marks. Right click in the highlighted area. Click paste. Now you got the numbers in there. Now go hit save. Okay. Now we're going to go back and we're going to look at something. We're going to go back to D drive. Steam library. Steam apps. Common. Uh, Farm Sim 22. Data. Maps. Mapped US. We're going to go to placeables. Right click. Edit with Notepad++. Now if you'll look, you see the charging station that we grabbed, okay? So we already know we got that, right? But we want to know, hey, do they have a mark theirs as a store item as well, or did they not? Because there's some of this that is. Like this farmhouse is a store item you have to put as well. All these that I'm clicking on now have store items. Right there, there, the all these. Okay, all those. Now, some of the other ones do down here, and some of the other ones don't. So what we're going to do is go show you that these up here, for whatever reason, don't have it. Okay? This one didn't have one that they had. Uh, these didn't. This weighing station we did don't. The VGA hall. The biogas station. So, so I'm working off the impression that they didn't add it. So I don't need to add it. And I'll add it for the ones that they added it for. So we're going to go ahead and go show you the store items. So we're going to click back on the file explorer where we were with the placeables with the main group, uh, the main game. And we're going to go to the store items, left click on it, right click on it, edit with notepad plus plus. And as you see, they have all the things I showed you. All them, the farmhouse, the auxiliary ones. They have some extra ones down here, but they don't have any of those that I just showed you. The BGA one, they don't have uh, They don't have the charging station here, none of that. They got the bushes, they got the trees and all that. They don't have none of that. So my assumption and my understanding is that, that we don't need the store item for that particular one. So we're going to X out of that. And make sure you, if after you've already put your numbers in your... Uh, placeables XML which this is not do not change anything in the main game XML close it out don't touch it you can take from it but copy it don't cut any of that information don't take any of it okay like don't take it away you you can copy it but you need to leave it there for your main game to work all right so now that we've done that we need to go back to the Giants editor now you got two choices. You can delete this whole uh, charging station transform group, which is your parent group here, and save it, and then you're good to go. Or you can take and go up here. We'll close this so we can see better. Close that so we can see better. Close that so we can see better. <laughs> well, I didn't think it was that many open. All right, here we go. Here's our placeables fold, placeholders folder. If you don't know how to do that, go look. I have a video on the playlist how to do that. It shows you what to do. You got to add this information down here in the user attributes, but you got to make it a, a script callback. You got to type in this box on create, put script callback, hit add, then write this out in the on create box and hit after you after you've added a transform created a transform group and you've named it placeholders okay so i just told you how to do it all right you see what it looks like lowercase in that particular instance it really don't matter all right but this one you has to have the capital p and the capital uh c but the rest needs to be lowercase okay and you make a placeholders folder now you're going to either click on this and delete it and then save it or you're going to click with your middle mouse scroll wheel button or if you have a different type of button that works as your middle mouse you're going to click on it and then drag it up to placeholders 
when it highlights let go it's going to put it in there that means it's going to hide this right here this i3d right here it's going to hide it so it don't show up in the end game when we go inside the game okay but it will show up because it's not this one won't but the xml one the one that we called i'm going to take you to it that we called from the placeables folder so the lizard charging station it's going to grab this one and the reason it's going to grab this one is this this xml file that we added that xml file to our placeables uh xml so our placeables xml the thing we put those numbers in and we added that line in is calling this right here this xml and it's saying hey go look at that and do what it says and it's going to come look at it and it's going to say hey go add this uh, i3d into the map and this is where it's at it's in data placeables lizard charging station charging station i3d and so it's going to go look the game's going to say hey go look in there and so we'll come and it's going to find the d drive go all the way to pharmacy data placeables lizard cha cha charging station charging station i3d and that's the one it's going to call Okay, I'm trying to help make it make sense for some of you. Sometimes it can be difficult. So I'm trying to help you. So that's the one that's going to show up. Not the one that you got there now. That one won't show up. As long as you've deleted it and hit save. Or you've put it in your placeholders folder. Your placeholders folder is to hide whatever's in that folder from the end game. Otherwise, you'll have two of them. You'll have the one that you have in here that you didn't put in the placeholders folder if you didn't delete it. You'll have that one. And you'll have the one from the XML. If you added it to XML, you have two. And that may not seem so bad for this, per se. Probably ain't great. But for like a building with or garage doors, you'd have two doors and you couldn't get in the building because you open one and then you got to open the other one and the first one shuts. So you see... You got to get rid of it. So delete it if you don't have a placeholder folder. If you have a placeholder folder, put it in it. Okay. Then hit save. But if you, before you do that, grab your career start point. And you don't have to do it this way. But you can. And go ahead and hit control B when it's highlighted. Hold down control B. Left mouse click. Left mouse click. Until it finalizes this gizmo. And then point your blue arrow toward it. Because you'll be facing it. Then hit save. Okay, and now we're going to go in game because I put that in the placeholder folder. But if I didn't, I'd have had to delete it and then save it. Okay, so now it's going to point us right there. So let's go in game and see what we have. But I hope everybody's having a great day. I hope you're enjoying these tutorials. I'm trying my best to show you. If I ever make a mistake, I promise you, if I find out about it, I, w I delete the video. I redo the video with the corrected information. So if you ever see me post something twice, or what you think I posted twice, say, hmm, she might have had to fix one thing. So, you know, I always try to make sure I give you the correct information as, as much as possible. All right, there we go. Uh, I'm not a perfect expert on every single thing to do with giants or anything else, but I do show what I learn, what I do know, and hope it helps others. So trying to get busy on this map and get more done it's a big map and i've kind of not been i've kind of not been doing as much as i'd like uh but a lot's been going on so and it's holidays too so but anyway as soon as this loads hopefully it hurries got a lot of stuff open which i should have closed i say that most of the time i should have done that but i didn't close it got a lot of stuff open so it takes a little longer. And we should be just about there. Go ahead and subscribe if you haven't. I appreciate it. It really helps. I'm hoping to get to a thousand as soon as possible. Uh, it's not that important. It's just a, you know, a goal. You just set, set a goal. So, there we go. And there we go. Here it is. Now, obviously, we don't have anything showing up because you'd have to go through it. Um... But there we go. And we have our 
we did this on the last episode, so if you need to learn how to put that in there, the weighing station, you can do that. We did these, uh, these little icon things. Uh, we added this mixer over here. Uh, on another episode, if you want to learn how to do that. We also added this biogas station right here. So if you need to do that, you can go do that. We hadn't done the bunkers yet, and we hadn't done the BGA haul, but I'm gonna do that soon. So stay tuned for that. But there it is, and then if you wanna click on here, we could look here, and you see right there? You, you see an icon for it, right? Guess what? That means it worked, and it says visit, so you can click visit. And it puts you on this spot right here. See? So if you click it again, we never did click on the uh, biogas one, but there it is. When I did that video, I, did, I don't think I clicked on it. But there you go. It takes us to the spot for the visit. Alright? But anyway, I guess I'm going to call that an episode here. But I hope you enjoyed. I'm going to catch you on the next one. Next one. But please hit that like button, subscribe, turn on your notification bell if you want to receive a notification every time I post a video. Goodbye, everybody.